Do you find yourself constantly worrying about your health? If so, you may be experiencing health anxiety. We can all get these worries at times. So let's first explore what health anxiety looks like and then we can dive into seven proven strategies that help. And stay tuned until the end of the video for an amazing bonus that'll help you easily include relaxation into your daily routine. Don't miss out. Keep watching. Health anxiety is more common than you might think. About 1 in 10 people go through it at some point in their lives. After COVID, health has been on everyone's mind, and it's been hard for some to shake off that anxiety. But here's the thing. It happens to us all at different times in our lives. When we're dealing with a new diagnosis, or about to have an operation, worry about our health can creep in. The good news is, those worries usually fade away as we move on from those events. First, let's see if you can relate to any of these behaviors that might indicate health anxiety. Your health is in your thoughts most of the time. You're constantly worrying about it. You keep checking your body for symptoms. Every little pain or change gets your attention. You avoid doing things you love and going out because you're scared of getting sick or making an existing condition worse. You avoid health-related news and social media because it would make you worry even more. And you're making frequent doctor visits to check on the things you're worried about. Remember, you're not alone, and we're here to help you break free from that endless cycle of worry. So now, let's dive into the 7 health anxiety tips. Knowledge is power, and when it comes to health, it's essential to be informed. However, avoid excessive googling, focus on reliable sources, and remember that not every symptom you read online indicates a severe illness. If you have a chronic condition already, make sure to recognize its symptoms to avoid unnecessary worry over new or different sensations. And it can help to speak with healthcare professionals to get accurate information about your concerns. Limit the time you spend browsing health-related content. Set yourself specific time periods for research. And whatever you do, avoid scrolling through your phone about health right before bed. Constantly feeding your anxiety with new information can make your worries a lot more intense. Catastrophic thinking means expecting the worst outcome. And it can be triggered by stress, anxiety or past experiences, such as a previous illness. This kind of thinking can become a pattern. And one of the most effective ways to overcome it, is to challenge your unhelpful thoughts. When you have a negative thought about your health, ask yourself if this fear is likely or is there any evidence to support it. If there isn't, then try to replace that thought with a more balanced one. Find activities that engage your mind, bring you joy and distract from negative and anxious thoughts about your health. Hobbies, exercise, or spending time with loved ones can be excellent distractions. Set yourself some mini goals to occupy you. For example, read a chapter of a book, declutter a drawer, or spend 20 minutes playing an instrument. These mini goals help you shift your focus away from anxious thoughts and provide a sense of accomplishment as you complete them. Remember, the key is to keep them small and achievable. Practicing mindfulness is a powerful tool to stay present and prevent your thoughts from spiraling out of control. Throughout the day, try taking slow, deep breaths while you're engaged in different tasks, like washing the dishes or picking children up from school. Another way to be mindful is to consciously focus on the sights, sounds, smells, tastes, and sensations around you. This intentional focus on your senses can help interrupt the flow of anxious thoughts. Consider incorporating mindfulness exercises and meditation into your daily routine to center yourself. Create a support system by reaching out to friends, family, or support groups to share your feelings and experiences. Sharing your struggles with those you trust can offer a sense of relief and understanding. It helps if you have someone at home or a loved one with whom you can have open and honest conversations about your health anxiety. This should be someone you trust to give a balanced view without being judgmental, who can help you to decide if a visit to the doctor is needed. 
Friends, colleagues or online support groups for people with similar issues can also be valuable sources of reassurance for your concerns. If health anxiety is significantly affecting your daily life, don't hesitate to seek professional help. Talking to a therapist or counselor can be really helpful in overcoming anxiety and learning coping strategies. And if you ever feel genuinely concerned about your health or experience specific symptoms that worry you, it's a good idea to reach out to your doctor or medical clinic. They are there to help you distinguish between general worries and any real health issues, and discussing your concerns with them can provide you with accurate medical information and much needed peace of mind. Remember, it's always okay to ask for help when you need it. Now, time for that bonus. Relaxation triggers hormones that promote a sense of well-being and help ease anxiety. To support you on your journey to a more relaxed life, we've compiled a comprehensive PDF handbook filled with valuable information on relaxation. In it, you'll discover three types of deep relaxation techniques that you can practice at home, along with 24 amazing quick tips and tricks for relaxing every day. Download the PDF through the link in the description below. So, we've gone through all seven strategies to stop health anxiety, and given you a bonus handbook on relaxation. Remember, progress may take time, but by using these strategies consistently, you will gradually regain control over your thoughts and emotions. And let's support one another on this journey. Share in the comments below anything that helps you to stop anxiety or to relax, so that others can benefit too. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with anyone who might benefit. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care of yourself.